and welcome back to my channel. In this video you're going to see how I plan my week as a PhD student and also how I plan with other things in my life in mind given that I'm also a content creator, given that I'm also running a business as part of a speech and drama school, given that I also have a life. So how I just plan my week with all of those things in mind. I have done a couple of recent videos about how I set goals for the month and how I plan my month with that in mind. Do be sure to check those videos out but basically we're going to be looking at the weekly planning side of things now. So having in mind all of my tasks for the month and what I really want to get done. I now am looking at this coming week, what do I need to do? So I just wanted to mention for the weekly planner, you'll see that I'm using Notion and I do have my own Notion template. This is version 2.0, which I am working on getting out ASAP for you all, but I did want to just give a bit of time to make sure that it's perfect before getting it out there. If you are wanting to get this template, the current version is out at the moment. And if you purchase now the current version at the current price, you will get it at the current price and when this one's available, you will get it for free. Whereas if you wait for this one to be available, the price will be going up. So just to keep that in mind, link is down below if you want to get your hands on it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is look at my reflection and goal setting template that I worked on already and look at each of the actions that I assigned to each of the goals that I have, mainly around health and well-being and fun and recreation and social. So just looking at each of the actions that I've assigned, seeing which of these need to be done on a weekly basis. And what I'm going to do is make a little database with the weekly things I want to track. I'm going to make that now and then this is going to be part of the Notion template that you will have this yourself if you want to track things on a weekly basis. So as you can see, what I have is a way to track the weekly actions. So what do I want to do each week in terms of what number of times I want to do things. So for example, hitting the 10,000 steps every day, I can then track how many days a week did I do that. With going to the gym, if I want to go three times a week, I can track how many times I did that. And I will be getting sort of a star rating for how well I did that week and a sort of percentage score for how well I did. Then once I have done that for a couple of weeks, I'm going to have an overall score for each goal for the month. And that is gonna help with my reflection at the end of next month to decide how well did I do on these goals. This is part of the 12 week year goal setting and evaluation. I'm actually doing this on a four weekly basis at the moment. I've just found that, that works better for me. I'd rather have things in smaller sizes and just do things gradually, reflect, maybe keep the same goals for another month if I need to but I'd rather do it on a four weekly basis, but it is using the same methods in the 12 week year where you really reflect on what you need and what you want when you're setting goals. So be sure to check out my recent goal setting video if you want to get more into that. The main thing is that when you are setting these goals that you set some associated actions that you can track. So it's not just about like, for example, if I'm saying, oh, I want to spend more time on my hobbies, like I need to have a tangible, trackable thing, so 30 minutes of reading a day. There we go, I can track that, how many times I did that per week, and then I have a way to evaluate how well I've done each week with each goal. So for example, if I only go to the gym one time a week and I said I wanted to go three times a week, then I get a score of 33%. And if that continues over the month and I only end up with 40% and I didn't feel like I made big progress in terms of how I'm feeling, I can then look at that and say, oh, well, that makes sense because I didn't go to the gym. And so I also want to have some sort of output based metrics here for each of these goals. So the input based metrics will be the, I think the lag indicators or the lead indicators. I can't quite remember which way it goes, but you'll have some of your um, ways to track things based on input. So that's how many times did I go to the gym? And you'll have some of the sort of outputs measured in terms of like, how am I feeling? So for that, I need to be doing something to like track my mood. And I am gonna be doing a lot of reflection this month and setting up a mental health sort of spread on Notion. And that's gonna help me track sort of the output to each of these goals. That's what I've got going on in this weekly tracker. And that's something that I want to incorporate into my weekly planning. So the main important things here really is just making sure that I put in time into my morning and evening routine, basically to have a morning and evening routine really. 
and the last thing, the admin hour, is something that I need to put into my schedule as well. So let's just go through how I plan my week then in terms of time blocking. So time blocking is a really helpful way to plan your week where you can basically block out different periods of time and associate different types of work to those. It's better than trying to have, you know, a mixture of doing more focused work and doing emails all at the same time. You're better off to have a set period for your focused work and a set period for your emails and everything like that. So I'm going to be blocking out my calendar for my week. First of all, by just including anything that I have a specific time for that isn't changeable. So if I have any classes that I'm teaching, if I have any meetings, anything like that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put those straight away into the calendar. The next thing that I do is I will then look at the time that I have remaining in the week and try to get some blocked time for working on different things. So for doing deep focused work for my PhD, I want to try and find like three to four hour windows where I can really get good work done. And so the next thing that I'm doing is just going back and adding in those deep work windows. Just briefly what I wanted to mention with these deep work blocks, I did mention in, a, in my monthly planning video, this week I'm just gonna be working on methodology stuff. So I know that pretty much every day it's just gonna be blocks of time working on that. And I'm not really focusing on any other tasks at the moment. So I know that I don't really need to basically do any other tasks. Um, so that's why like the planning of it all is pretty like easy at the moment for PhD work because I don't really have a lot else on. I've finished up all my classes, teaching is finishing up for this term, but I know that this is pretty much all I need to work on. So once I have these deep work blocks, I'm pretty much sorted. The next thing that I'm doing is just including some time for breaks. So lunch breaks, morning routine, evening routine. And then the last thing that I want to do here is to add back in periods of shallow work and because this is more unfocused work, um, I really just want to slot that in where I can find the time. Um, because it is one of my goals to do an hour of admin that's set, I'm adding in a 4 p.m. Um, or 5 p.m. admin hour each day just so that I can build the habit of doing that around the same time every day. So now you can see I have my fully time blocked schedule and you can see that I have included all of my important things for this week. There's still a good bit of time left in the calendar. So the next thing that I'm going to do is look over my tasks that I have. You'll see in my monthly planning and in my weekly reset, this is something I talk a lot about. But very briefly, I'm using the getting things done method for looking at my tasks. And because I am in the sort of follicular phase, ovulatory phase window for this next week, I'm just gonna look over all of the tasks that I have put into those phases. So if you don't know much about the in the flow method, this is where we try to organize our work and our life around the menstrual cycle because our hormones and our brains just want different things at different times of the month. So it's better to try and work with that and go with the flow instead of going against the flow. So I'm just looking over my tasks to see what things might be good to do this week. So for sure, the best thing I could do this week would be all of the stuff around Christmas um, because it is fun and it is new and it is interesting and fun and exciting. And that's what my brain will definitely be wanting this week. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a bit of time into my calendar to do some Christmas shopping, some research and development for Christmas presents. So like looking up what people will want for Christmas and also doing my own Christmas list because everyone's been hounding me for it and I really need to do it. Pretty much that's gonna be the main thing. The other thing that I could put in for the weekend as a maybe will be to work on the filming space in the house because right now we don't really have a great filming space and it's something that would be sort of a fun thing for me to think about throughout the week and see would that be something that I could do. The other thing that I need to do is work on some Notion templates. So obviously I am working on my Notion templates sort of around the clock, but this is the best time for me to just get it finished because I am in this sort of planning mode where I do want to do a lot of planning. So to add in that mental health bullet journal and finances template. So let's just see, say if we put in maybe a little bit of sort of desk work, I can just basically put in a note for when I want to do these tasks. And David Allen would definitely be sort of against putting in certain tasks at certain times. 
but when I put them in like this, I sort of am just saying like, oh, that would be a good time to work on this, but it's honestly no big deal if you don't. So it's not gonna be a stressful thing. It's just something that I want to sort of think about. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in sort of fun admin blocks. That's what I call them. Um, where that'll be doing stuff like Christmas shopping, uh, Notion templates, basically anything like that. And then I'm gonna put in some sort of like, I suppose YouTube blocks I wanna say, which will be stuff like doing the Notion templates. Obviously I also have a block of time each day at the moment for YouTube just because of Vlogmas. So that's something I need to add in basically to the evening every day this week. I do wanna leave a little bit of blank time but mostly I know I need to, to be pretty proactive with my time at the moment with doing Vlogmas, trying to get everything done. A couple of things that I like to bear in mind as well when I'm doing my weekly planning is where I want to be for the week. So I've put in some notes for the Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to be at my family home minding Lola. So that means as well, I can keep in mind any tasks that I have that are in the at home home context. So if there's anything I need to pick up from there, so for example, one of the things on my task list is to move a chest of drawers over here. That will be something I can get done during the time that I'm there, or at least get, you know, if I'm coming home, get that done. Um, and another thing as well is like when I'm going into the office, I like to think about that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go into the office this week. I'll, I'll see how I'm feeling, but I think I'm probably gonna stay home for the most part this week, just because I will be going home home two days this week, possibly longer. Um, so that's just something that I keep in mind as well. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So the main thing that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week is just checking in on this, making sure I'm getting through things and just trying to stick to the schedule as much as possible. So obviously the main part of what my goals are here are to do a good morning routine and a good evening routine. So that is something that I'm going to be planning and doing a separate video on the morning routine and the evening routine that I'm doing for sort of mental health, well-being, physical health, all of that, trying to stay mentally and physically healthy as a PhD student, which we know is not super easy. That is it for this weekly planning video. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what your plans are like for this week. If there's anything you feel like I'm missing in terms of planning my weeks, I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all of my wonderful members and I'll see you all in the next video. Music